opening press conference, you said, I'm looking forward to be uncomfortable. I thought that was very right. telling. I mean, was you uncomfortable? Um, why, why? Can you expand on that? Yeah, the whole uncomfortable thing was just I had been in Jacksonville for six years, so I don't know. I didn't know any other organization. I didn't know any other way. So coming here, it's a new, new culture, new everything, but it's been for the better for me. I enjoy coming to work every day. It's been great. So the uncomfortableness is just more learning a new scheme, getting acclimated, figuring out a new city, moving, all that type of stuff. So it's been fun, though. It's been great. What stood out to you about being with the Pittsburgh Steelers that, that um, you didn't expect? It's the, the culture, man, um, and, and that's what people always say. But coming from where I came from and coming here, you, you see why – um, this team is successful. You know what I mean? The mission's clear. There's no secrets. If there's a problem, it gets addressed right then and there. And I feel like that's the only way you have to win is everybody's held accountable. So I've enjoyed it. It's been great. How about this defensive unit? What are your thoughts? Oh, man. Uh, I, me personally, I expect big things from it. And um, being a part of it, um, I'm just studying every night, playing my role, make sure I know everything. So that way when, when flying for real, it's going to be it's gonna be fun on Sunday. It's going to be real fun. What's it like having a guy like Cam in front of you there? Uh, man, you can't put that into words. Um, there's times where I'll just go back and watch the film from last year, and he's just ragdolling other grown men. So um, to play behind him, I, I don't think I've had too many D tackles similar to him. So um, he, he's he's the man for for a reason, and he's I'm excited to play behind him. What about that? I know you guys are yeah, yeah, yeah. But just for, just playing with him, seeing his strengths and weaknesses, or strengths and everything, like him running around getting the defense lined up. Um, it's been great. Me and him have been working on different things, just seeing how we see the play and how we do it. So it's, it's, it's a collaborative. When you got your other backer, you guys are constantly, you guys are almost attached at the hip. So whatever one backer does, you kind of got to back them up. So we've done a great job just talking to each other, chopping it up, and it's been great. What do you remember about the 2017 uh, team <laughs> winning here twice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the only time ever the team has won twice in Pittsburgh in the same year? Yeah, that was that was the, the most fun years for yeah. sure. But just coming here, the main thing I remember was the crowd because we didn't get too many crowds like that in Jacksonville. So just seeing them, them tiles going crazy. Yeah, shout out Chico. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, them, was, them was great years. But the main thing I remember is just the energy and atmosphere, like coming out pregame hearing the crowd go crazy, the energy, because typically in Jacksonville, we didn't get too many games that was really packed like that. And then the playoff atmosphere game, it, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't think I've seen anything like it. So that's what I'm mostly looking forward to, is just feeling that energy, having the crowd behind you when you make a big play and things like that. There's a lot of energy outside of the clubhouse. I remember being in the hallways when you guys upset, or not upset, but you beat yeah. the Steelers here. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about that little rivalry? Is that one of the big reasons that maybe you wanted to come here? Um, I, I would say so. Just playing, I, I played the Steelers, I think, four times. So, you know, when you play the, the, the Steelers, even if you play, when I played in Jacksonville, the crowd, they they, they was filling up the Steelers Stadium more than our fans were. So, um, it, it's definitely something you remember in free agency. And when you get that call from the Steelers, it's, it's like, okay, I, I know those guys. I know what, what they're about. And, um, yeah, I think it definitely held weight, just knowing the, the whole history. And, yeah, it, it's... It's definitely something that weighed in, for sure, 100%. This offseason, was it an easy decision to come oh, here? Oh, yeah, simple. I mean, I made my decision in a day. Once I got that call, I talked to my agent. I was like, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Let's shut it down. Let's go ahead and go to Pittsburgh. So um, when I saw the roster, who was going to be coaching me, obviously the Steelers have been to the playoffs the last, I don't want to say it wrong, I think 10 years in a row or something like give or take. So when you put all that into account, I was like, shoot, at this point, I just want to win. So let's do it. Not to mention looking at the roster, but this is an opportunity for you too, right? Right, hundred percent. Yeah, a chance to you know make a couple of plays, get my name back out there, and see what happens. But first and foremost, I'm just here to be a part of the Steelers and win games and, and contribute because this defense is very, very talented up front and in the back. So there are a lot of new faces here, but there's some old. And you know, how much can you help a guy like Devin too, but also some of the new guys coming in here? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Just experiences and different coverages, like maybe in a cover two your shorter safety, so we, we got to play a little bit slower and kind of funnel it between the two of us. Or if it's a cover three, like, let's get downhill, man to man. Let's get downhill if we see run, because we got an eight-man box we can go. So just little tips and trades, um, kind of knowing when it's play action, depending on the team. There's, there's little things that you just, when you're in this league for so long, you just know it's, you just know when you see it. So if I can give those, in, those guys any of those tricks, I'm, I'm happy to.